Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to do most of the examples from section 3.1 in your calculator. So I'm not going to explain how to do the problems because that was the other video. I'm just going to simply show you the calculator part for all of these. Okay, so example one, this was the one where we found the mean. We did it by hand, but if you have a long data set, it's probably better to just do it in the calculator. So in your calculator, you're going to go to stat and then edit. And then go ahead and put those numbers into L1. So 110, 76, 30, 38, 105, 29, 30, and 25. Okay, once you have them in a list, then you're going to go to stat, go over to calculate, and then you want one bar stats. Okay, your L1 should be your list. Keep your frequency list blank, and then calculate. And let's see, so the top one, X bar, that's your sample mean, so 55.375, so that's where I got the answer of 55.4 because I rounded that. Okay, so that's that one. Um, this one where we found the mean for group data. So you still have to, if you're gonna do it just completely, completely in the calculator, you still have to go through and find all your midpoints on your own. So you still have to do column C. You do not have to do column D. Okay, your calculator will kind of do that for you. So what you want to do is go to stat, edit, and then if you want to like ever clear a list quickly, if you go up and highlight the uh, name of it and just click clear and then enter, it'll clear the whole thing out for you. Okay, so you want to put your midpoints in L1. So 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33, 38, and then do the corresponding um, frequencies in L2, and just make sure they're matched up correctly. So don't mix up the order here. So it goes one, two, three, five, four, three, two. Okay, and then you'll go to stat, calc, one bar stats, and then L1 is your uh, main list, and then your frequency list. Um, obviously your L2. So you'll go down there and to type L2, you do second two and then calculate. And then again, it's the top one. It's your X bar sample mean, so 24.5. Okay, so that answer matches. Um, this one, the median, we actually didn't show you in the video how to do it in the calculator, but I'll just show you fast, it's, it's fine. Um, me clear. Okay. All right. So again, you'll want to put those numbers into a list. So you'll go stat, edit. I'll clear out my previous L1. And let's see. I'm just going to use the numbers that I wrote where they were in order just because I can see them better. Um, but it doesn't matter what order you put them in. So you could just use the original list that they gave you. Okay, so once you have all the numbers into a list, then you'll go stat, calculate, one bar stats. You can see we're going to the same place here for all of them. Now here, we are, we're only using one list. So your frequency list, um, if you already have something there, make sure you clear it out. Then go to calculate. And then it's actually, the median is off the screen. So if you go down, um, you'll see it right here. So MED stands for median in your calculator, and it came out to 34. Okay, so you can do it by hand or the calculator, um, completely up to you. And if you ever wanna get back to your home screen, you just do second mode, okay, that's essentially quitting and it just takes you back to your main screen. And then um, this one with the weighted mean, so this is gonna be just like the one with the um, frequencies, so you'll go stat, edit. I'm just gonna clear both of these out. Okay, so just make sure that you do um, the weights in L2, okay, and the other values in L1. So four, two, three, one would go in L1, and then three, three, four, and two go in L2, and then stat, calc, one bar stats, L1 is your main list. Your frequency list is the same thing as the weights, okay, weights and frequencies, kind of just like two names for the same thing. So 
So um, put L2 there and then calculate. And let's see, X bar is 2.666 repeating. Sure enough, that's what we got when we did it by hand. So when you round to one decimal place, you get 2.7. And then I did have a couple just other examples for you. I'm gonna do these kind of quick. Um, these aren't in your notes, but these are kind of two problems that are from Connect that students usually like send me emails about. So I just wanna explain them really fast. So um, actually this first one is pretty easy. So here uh, you wanna find the mean and modal class for the data. You're given the boundaries, okay? So you do have to find the midpoints first. So you'll go through, do all those by hand. So 0 0.5 plus 3.5 divided by two, um, get all of those. Then you'll put your midpoints in L1, your frequencies in L2. And then you'll um, go to stat, calc, oops. Okay, I don't have it showing up here yet. So you'll go to stat, calc, one bar stats, L1 as your main list, L2 as your frequency list. And then it's gonna give you X bar, um, so, X bar is five, so that's your mean. Modal class is just the one with the highest frequency. So no math involved whatsoever. Just go look at your frequency list, it's 12. So um, that's the highest one. So the modal class is the 3.5 to 6.5. Okay, now on this one, um, it wants you to find the weighted mean price of the three models of automobiles sold. Now students always ask, how do you know which one is the weight? Okay, is it the number or is it the price? Well, look what you're finding the weighted mean for, okay? It's the weighted mean price, okay? Whatever you're actually finding the mean of, that one is your L1, okay? That is not the weights. The weights are the other um, variable, basically. So if we're finding the weighted mean price, that means we're gonna put the price in L1 and then the weights in L2. And then you'll do um, stat, calc, one bar stats, L1, L2, same thing on both of these. And then you'll get your weighted mean of $9,866.67. So just remember, whatever you're finding the weighted mean of, that's your L1. The other variable is your L2. And you'll put that in your frequency list. And then just go to one bar stats, and you'll get your answer that way. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, definitely let us know, either one of us, if you have any questions about the calculator and we are more than help happy to help you out.